Hello everybody, so this video is about the death of uh, Dennis Hutchings, who died of natural causes at the age of 80. Now, uh, Mr Hutchings was a controversial person, and um, but for who he killed, no one ever would have heard of him. So um, Hutchings, uh, he joined the British Army, I think in his, his late teens, and uh, he was serving in Northern Ireland in 1974. The Troubles was close to its height, so it was a year where over 100 people were killed. Um, Anyway, he was um, on patrol in the countryside, and there was um, a 27-year-old um, man from that area, John Patrick Cunningham, who um, was um, had learning difficulties, and he was um, afraid of men in uniforms. Well, perhaps not surprisingly, because um, people people were getting killed. Sometimes members of the IRA, sometimes civilians, uh, by the by the British Army, um, and apart from killing people. The army would sometimes aggressively question people, could seem quite menacing. So they were there on a peacekeeping mission, Came seemed to be like a, a combat mission to some people. Now, um, Mr Hutchings' uh, defenders would say that they came under fire almost every day on patrol um, back then. Anyway, so um, John Patrick Cunningham, he ran away from the soldiers, and the soldiers were suspicious of this, is it in the IRA or something like that. So um, Mr Cunningham was then shot dead. Three bullets struck him. Um, I think all of them fired by um, Dennis Hutchings. Certainly they're all fired by um, British soldiers. Um, anyway, so this was contentious. Um, John Pat Cunningham was not armed at the time. I don't think he ever was armed. Was not a member of the IRA or INLA. Um, he was no threat to the patrol. He was running away from them, not towards them. So um, soldiers are entitled to kill people under certain circumstances. Um, uh, in a combat situation, but this wasn't a combat situation. And in, in the Northern Ireland conflict, the British Army were allowed to open fire if they had reason to believe that their lives or anyone else's lives were in danger or at risk of serious injury. Um, now, that belief could subsequently turn out to be mistaken. But so long as it was reasonably held, then they would have a complete bar to any prosecution. But in this case, I don't perceive how... Um, Dennis Hutchings could believe his lives, his life or those of his comrades uh, was in any peril from um, John Patrick Cunningham, who was also, I think, quite some distance away. Um, anyway, so um, Mr Hutchings was uh, charged with murder and he was in Northern Ireland to stand trial in Belfast for this. But uh, ere he died uh, some days ago. His funeral took place in um, Plymouth, England uh, Thursday last week. So um, a lot of um, uh, bikers and this, this Rolling Thunder group were there to, for his send-off and um, he received lots of uh, eulogies um, at his obsequies. But uh, he's not so fondly remembered by Mr Cunningham's family. Mr Cunningham, a completely unoffending man who was killed, who was a victim of them, uh, of, of, of Dennis Hutchings. Now I put it um, in, in the title here, um, John Pat Cunningham's uh, killer, uh, and that's a statement of fact. He was. That's not a moral judgment. Um, um, some people might argue it was justified or excusable or something like that, but there's there's, there's no doubt that um, Mr Hutchings um, killed uh, John Pat Cunningham. Was it a tragic mistake? And obviously he had to face a situation that uh, most people have to face. I don't. Um, but, you know, he volunteered for it. I mean, I, I have never been a soldier, never would want to be, partly be faced with these situations. Um, so anyway, so former British Army personnel said, oh, it's a disgrace that he was ever charged and things like that. Now, I don't think anyone should be charged um, with relation in relation to anything that happened before the Good Friday Agreement in that Northern Ireland conflict, no matter which organisation they're a member of. And then that's equal. That puts a, compl a, a line in the sand and we let bygones be bygones and nobody be charged and no more investigations. People say, we want closure for our family. Well, investigations, prosecutions, they actually don't exist for therapeutic reasons. They exist to um, uh, achieve justice. But I know they all say no justice, no peace. It's kind of the other way around. You get peace by having less justice, by agreeing not to go after people. And if you, you believe your side has got justice on its side, that not getting everything you want, having to let the other side have some of what they want, even when you regard that as being um, unjust. So um, uh, his uh, uh, respectful and glorious send-off will probably be um, salt in the wounds for the uh, Cunningham family. Um, so there are those who say uh, we support soldier A, B, C, right down to soldier Z, and pff, I can't agree with that because some soldiers uh, did things which were really reprehensible. Um, 
and killing their foes in combat is one thing, but um, killing civilians, if you do it willfully, knowing them to be civilians, not believing them to be any threat, well, that's murder. So that you can't have carte blanche and just say anything is permissible, no matter whose side you're on, if you're a nationalist or a unionist or whatever. Or there are even IRA supporters who say, well, some of the things the IRA did were unacceptable. Just because um, they're on your side, you think it's in furtherance of your cause, you've got to have some sort of um, uh, moral bottom line. And I know there was a better side to Mr. Hutchings, who was said to be a fantastic family man, and that may well very well be true. Um, so uh, it's a painful and uh, a thorny issue. So um, he is, we, we will never have a verdict. Anyway, that's uh, my um, penny's worth of comment on the passing of Dennis Hutchings. Goodbye.